Hello, I am Keshavi Sanjay Savant from 10th grade Real Academy Alibag Branch. Today I am here to share with you some engrossing information about the modern periodic table. According to NASA, the universe is made up of all the energy and matter there is, and all the matter is made up of elements. Till date, we have discovered 118 elements, and maybe in future we will discover even more elements. To ease the study of any past information, we should try to recognize a pattern if any in the information. So to ease the study of elements, we have periodic table. We begin in the history of periodic table, Anton Lavoisier was the first person to organize the elements. Then came the Dobelian stats, then the Dulac octaves, and finally Mendeleev's periodic table, which served as a basic method for organizing elements. The modern periodic table helps us in deriving a correlation between the atomic number, atomic mass number, and properties of elements. It helps us in predicting the physical, chemical, and atomic properties of elements. So basically, without periodic table, every experiment would merely be a mess. The modern periodic table was first made by Niels Bohr. Henry Bosley stated the periodic law, which says the physical and chemical properties of elements are a periodic function of their atomic numbers. Now let us explore the structure of periodic table. There are seven horizontal rows in the periodic table. They are called as periods. And there are 18 vertical columns. They are called as groups. And the arrangement of periods and groups results in the formation of boxes. Now each box corresponds to one element and there is atomic number, symbol, the name of element and average atomic mass of the element in every box. Now there are 118 elements, that means there are 118 boxes in the periodic table. In addition to it, there are two rows, there are lanthanide series and actinide series at the bottom of periodic table. The lanthanides start with lanthanum and the actinides start with actinum. They have been placed away from the table just to conserve the space. Now the entire periodic table is divided into four blocks. They are the S block, T block, D block and F block. Groups 1 and 2 constitute S block and then groups 13 to 18 constitute the P block. And groups 3 to 12 constitute the D block. And the lanthanide and actinide series constitute the F block. These uh, blocks have been made according to the valence electron orbitals of elements. Now, a zigzag line can be drawn in the P block of elements. It clearly separates the metals, non-metals and the elements which lie along the zigzag line. They are called as metalloids. Metalloids are those elements which share the properties of both metals as well as non-metals. Now, let's check out some trends in the periodic table. As we go along the period, the atomic radius goes on decreasing. This is because the electron is added to the same outermost shell and then the electrons are pulled towards the nucleus to a greater extent. This results in reduction of atomic size which further results in increasing electronegativity that is the non-metallic character and decreasing electropositivity that is the metallic character. And as we go down the group, the metallic character goes on increasing. This is because the atomic size goes on increasing as a new shell is added and it results in decreasing electronegativity. Now I will share with you some interesting characteristics of elements. The hydrogen, hydrogen has smallest atomic mass. Then helium, helium has smallest atomic radius and it is used in helium balloons. Then we have technetium which was the first artificially made element and then fluorine is the most electronegative element. Now I will share with you some limitations of modern periodic table. Now there is ambiguity about the position of hydrogen. Hydrogen can become stable either by donating an electron or by gaining an electron. So it shares the properties of both the alkali materials as well as the halogen family. Now there are certain families in the periodic table. They are like the alkali family, alkaline earth metal family, then boron family which starts with boron, the carbon family which starts with carbon. Nitrogen family which starts with nitrogen. Oxygen family which starts with oxygen. It is alternately called as chalcogen family. Then we have the halogen family and then the noble gas family. So there is ambiguity about the position of hydrogen as it shares the properties of uh, the halogens as well as uh, alkali metals. Now another limitation is uh, barium and uh, lead. They have similar chemical properties but they are placed far away from each other. So that is one more limitation. And uh, these lanthanide and actinide series, they have been placed away from the table even if they are a part of the table. 
so that is one more limitation now i will share with you a interesting trick to memorize this elements so for first ten elements we have the trick hi hello listen to bbc news on friday night and for the next ten elements we have na mango alla se pepsi soda cola or kaju katli in this funny way we can remember all the 20 elements so here in i have tried to encapsulate the vast information about modern periodic table hope you have liked it and i would like to thank team real academy for giving us a precious opportunity to present our views on our favorite topic uh, in science on the occasion of diwali science marathon thank you